Number one. Pawns can't move backwards. If you're a human being that has ever played the game called chess, you would know that the pawns are the little ball-shaped guys that move forward, but they can't move backwards because, I, I don't know, I guess their IQ is, like, too low. Why the hell can't you just move backwards, bro? Every other piece can move backwards in some degree, but you're just that dumb that you're the only one that can move forward, but you don't know how to turn around and walk away. I don't know if we need to give these pawns, like, some brain steroids or some shit. I hate it when I move multiple pawns forward, and then later in the game, the rest of my troops are not protected by my dumbass pawns. They're already out there and they're they're out and about. They're making their way downtown, walking fast. Number two. King's movement. Now, while I excuse the pawns for being so dumb that they don't know how to move backwards, I simply cannot excuse the king for being the king and not being able to move more than one square at a time. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole here, but you're kind of a bitch, king. Like, I, I hate you. The fate of the game lies in your life. You can't move more than one square at a time. If something or someone is trying to capture me, I'm not moving one space at a time. I believe there's a word for that term, actually, when you do that. It's called being a fucking idiot. Once all the pieces are gone and you have a king and like maybe a pawn on each side, that shit is gonna take like four to seven business days. I mean, we really don't need the king to be the most powerful piece on the board, but at least pull your own weight, man. It's all about the mindset. The king piece is just not Sigma enough. Number three and passant. So if you're not a person that plays chess very often, you probably don't know what en passant is. It's actually a real rule that is a part of chess. I'm pretty sure the term actually originated in France, so instead of calling it en passant, we really should be calling it en passant. That was definitely racist. So the rule is basically when your pawn moves forward twice, they can then move diagonally and then kill the pawn after he's already moved past them after the turn. So the pawns are too stupid to move backwards, but they're somehow smart enough to kill another pawn in passing. What the hell? Oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. I don't accept this. I don't rebuke thee, but I'm pretty close to rebuking. I'm not gonna lie. Number four. The knight piece. So this one's not really a rule. I just want to really shit on the knight piece for a second because it's shaped like a horse and it's not a horse. It's a knight. Like I understand that knights ride horses and that's cool and all, but you gotta admit that's false advertisement. Number five. Pawns can't capture a head. Why the hell can pawns literally only move forward, but whenever they're killing some shit, they can only do that shit diagonally. Diagonally. That shit is more confusing than asking a girl what she wants to eat. Like, can you go straight or can you go diagonal? You can't be the bitch that only moves one square at a time, but then when it comes to actually being able to capture something, oh, I need to be diagonal. What? I would love for you to just fall on a pair of chopsticks while you have no pants on. Number six. Draw. So apparently in some chess tournaments, or if you play online chess on your phone or computer, if you and your opponent do the same moves like three times in a row, the game automatically gets called off as a draw and i don't mean to sound like a karen here but what the hot diggity fuck man you can't just stop the game that's like taking a piss and deciding to stop halfway through i can't do that shit what am i gandhi oh it's a stalemate draw oh shut up like maybe the stalemate's happening because we're plotting but honestly a part of me kind of likes this rule because whenever i play against the computer that always kicks my ass if i really don't want to lose all i have to do is just do the same move while they do the same move and then we just draw and technically i didn't get my ass kicked by a computer and that makes me feel less shit about myself yes make sure to like the video and comment the word chesticles or else you're gonna have 13 years of bad luck sorry i don't make up the rules even though i just did but i'm not gonna make up the rules anymore so uh go do that subscribe